From this presentation onwards, we will understand a lot of special programs in Python. In this presentation, we will discuss our first special program, which is separating even and odd numbers. So, without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture. The topic of this presentation is special program separate even and odd numbers. In this lecture, we will write a program to separate even and odd numbers. But before going ahead with the program, we first need to understand the problem statement. So, let's see the problem statement first and let's understand it properly. So, let's go ahead and see the problem statement. Write a program to separate even and odd numbers stored in a list into two different lists. Our job is to write a program to separate even and odd numbers which are stored in a specific list into two different lists. So, there must be some list available to us already which consists of even and odd numbers. Our job is to extract even and odd numbers from that list and store them into two different lists. Even numbers list and odd numbers list. That's what we need to do in this lecture. Now, as we know what the problem statement is, let's go ahead and write a program for the same. The first step is to create a list of numbers, maybe from 1 to 24. Let's say that we want to create a list of numbers from 1 to 24. In order to do that, we need to use the range function and the list function. Let's do this now. Let's create the list li like this. li equal to list and then within these parentheses, range, then within these parentheses, 1, 25. This range function will generate a sequence of numbers from 1 to 24 and this list function will eventually convert that sequence to a list and this li variable will point to that list. So, eventually we will get a list of numbers from 1 to 24. Now, after this, we need to create two separate lists, namely even numbers and odd numbers. Initially, they are empty and later, we will add even and odd numbers in those lists from this list li. So, let's do this now. Let's create the empty lists even numbers and odd numbers like this. Even numbers equal to these square brackets and then odd numbers equal to these square brackets. So, we have created two lists, even numbers and odd numbers and they are initially empty. Now, what is the next step? We need to iterate over this list and we need to check each item of this list. If the item is divisible by 2, then it means that that specific item is an even number. Otherwise, that item is an odd number. As simple as that. So, let's write the for loop for this purpose. Let's write this for statement for item in li. li is the list containing items from 1 to 24 or we can say numbers from 1 to 24. Here, this item variable will receive each item of the list one at a time. Now, within this for loop, we will check if item is divisible by 2. That's what we are checking here. Item mod 2 equal to 0. This means that if item is divisible by 2, if it leaves the remainder 0 after dividing by 2, this means that that specific item is an even number and hence we must append that item in the even numbers list. In this way, we would be able to extract even numbers from this list li. So let's do this now. Let's append this item in the even numbers list. This is how we can do this. Even numbers dot append item. Here to the append function, we are passing item and we are applying append on even numbers. In this way, we would be able to append this item in the even numbers list. Now, what happens if item is not divisible by 2? Then that item is definitely an odd number. So, we must append that item to the odd numbers list. Let's do this now. We just need the else clause here and after this, we just need odd numbers dot append item. 
In this way, we would be able to append the item, which is an odd number, to the odd numbers list. I hope this is clear. With this for loop, we would be able to append the items in their respective lists. After completion of this for loop, we know that even numbers list will contain all even numbers from the list li and odd numbers list will contain all odd numbers from this list li. Now, we are ready to print those numbers. So, let's do this. After this for loop, we need this statement, print odd numbers and then we need print even numbers. So, first we will print all the odd numbers and then we'll print all the even numbers. Now, let's execute this code line by line and let's see how this code works. The first step is to evaluate this for statement for item in li. We know that li is the list containing all items from 1 to 24. So, it has numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on up to 24. Here, item variable will receive the first item of the list li, which is 1. So, we can say that item variable is pointing to this object with value 1. Now, what is the next step? We need to check if item mod 2 is equal to 0 or not. No, item mod 2 is not equal to 0 because item is 1 and 1 mod 2 is not equal to 0. 1 is not divisible by 2. Therefore, 1 is an odd number and hence the else block must be executed. This means that odd numbers dot append item must be executed. And this means that now we need to append this item in the odd numbers list. So, let's do this now. This is the initial state of the odd numbers list. After appending this item in this list, this is how our list looks like. Now, we have one in this list. I hope it is clear what is happening. In the odd numbers list, now we have value one. Now, let's go ahead and evaluate this statement once again. This time, item variable will receive value 2. So, here we need to replace this value by 2. After doing this, what is the next step? We need to check, is item mod 2 equal to 0? This time, item mod 2 is equal to 0 because 2 is divisible by 2. 2 is an even number. Hence, we need to append this value in the even numbers list. So, let's do this now. We need to evaluate this statement. After evaluation, our even numbers list will hold value 2. So, this is how our even numbers list looks like. So, up to this point, odd numbers list is holding value 1 and even numbers list is holding value 2. Now, what is the next step? We need to evaluate this line once again. For item in li, this time item variable will receive value 3. Now, after this, we need to check this condition. Is item mod 2 equal to 0? No, item mod 2 is not equal to 0. Therefore, the else block will be executed. This time, we need to append this item in the odd numbers list. So, let's do this. We will get 3 over here. Now, we need to evaluate this statement once again. This time, item variable will receive value 4. Now, we need to check is item mod 2 equal to 0? Yes, item mod 2 is equal to 0 because 4 is divisible by 2. Hence, this time we need to append 4 in the even numbers list. Therefore, after evaluation of the statement, we will get 4 in this list. In this way, we can continue and we know that eventually we will get all odd numbers in this list and we will get all even numbers in this list. So, after completion of this for loop, we would be able to print odd numbers and even numbers on the screen. So, the output of this program is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23. This is the odd numbers list because we are printing odd numbers list first. And then after this, we'll get the even numbers lists, which is starting from 2 and it goes up to 24. You can see this, that odd numbers list is holding all odd numbers and even numbers list is holding all even numbers. In this way, 
we can separate even and odd numbers in python i hope the concept is completely clear with this program it is clear how to utilize the power of for loop along with the append method append method allows us to append items in a list and for loop allows us to iterate over a list so that we can access each item of a specific list i hope this concept is completely clear now let's run this code in visual studio code and let's verify our result i have already opened the python work folder in my visual studio code and here is the split even odd dot py file in this file it can be observed that we have the same program which we have seen in the presentation now let's execute this code using the terminal let's open the terminal first let's create the new terminal and now let's type python then space then name of the program which is split even or dot py let's hit enter we are getting the same lists as it can be observed we are getting odd numbers list first and then we are getting the even numbers list in total we have items from 1 to 24 so we have verified our result We now know that our code is working correctly as we have executed this code in Visual Studio Code and we are getting this result only. So this means that we are done with this lecture. We have understood how to separate even and odd numbers in Python. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.